part circus, part theater, Cirque du Soleil is known for creating thrilling, spectacular shows, unlike anything most of us have ever seen before. I am so excited to bring you backstage at their latest production here in Nashville called Taruk The First Flight, based on the blockbuster film Avatar by James Cameron. I'm with Laura Silverman. She is the spokesperson for the show, and she is going to tell us all about what we're seeing right now. This is the Taruk. Yeah, so the, you are getting a very, very behind the scenes look at the Taruk, the namesake of the show. And in Avatar, we actually see Jake Sully's character uh, fly the Taruk for the sixth time. So in our show, we go back 3,000 years and follow the story of the very first Navi to ever fly the Taruk. So the Taruk is the largest puppet that we see in the show, and it actually requires all six puppeteers to bring it to life. So it operates uh, similar to a reverse marionette. The puppeteers are below the puppet, bringing life into it, while the Taruk is hooked up, and we have a, a 3D flying system, and our automation team uh, makes the creature fly into the stage while the puppeteers are bringing life into it. So this is a multimedia spectacle. It's a prequel to James Cameron's Avatar going back thousands of years before the events in the film. We're using projections, 40 projectors that hang in the grid to bring to life Pandora. We have large scale puppets. Uh, we have 40 artists in the show that are, are, that are all representing the Navi characters. And it's really a storytelling journey through Pandora, something that audiences will maybe recognize if they've seen Avatar, but really something completely new. And one of the things that's new also is that you're going to have someone that's going to be sort of like a narrator. Exactly. The story is really important in this show. And so we have a Navi storyteller who's speaking English, and he's helping guide the audience through this journey. It's about three teenagers on a quest to save Pandora. So check this out. These are the costumes, the blue body costumes that the cast members will be wearing. Not a lot to them, but really, really interesting. And we're going to meet someone who's going to tell us all about this. This is Jeremiah. He is a member of the cast. Hi. Pleasure to be here. Well, it's a pleasure to talk with you. Such a fascinating show. And the costumes have a lot to do with it, don't they? Right. This is my suit. Um, you can see, actually, on the suit, we have the different the lines, the pill, which is like an actual the stripes of the Navi, the bioluminescent dots, so that when we're under the black light, they really just come to life. But there's a lot of technology that goes into this too. You can see we have a zipper down here. It's not, it's not for me to use. It's because the only place we can hide the technology is underneath the loincloth. So you'll see every little bump on the costume everywhere else. This is the only place we can put things. So we have the loincloth here covering a collection of wires. So we have uh, microphones in the show. We're actually speaking not V on stage. We have lights. So the black track here will run from the back beacon up and out of the costume. It'll make a little infrared light, so while we're moving through the space, we can actually have the entire scene interact with us. You've ever seen like uh, those, like when people go through a video screen and it makes everything react? We yes. have that with our entire stage. So it's just a, a giant playground to play in. And then at the same time, it gives us a follow spot so we can move. We don't have to worry about having, being on the queue as much as the light follows us. It's this really cool little world we get to play in. Wow, it's so wonderful. We can't even kind of sum it up. It's going to be such a spectacular show. If you've never been to a Cirque du Soleil show before, you got to come. It's going to be here at the Bridgestone Arena through Sunday. And you can just go to Ticketmaster.com for more information or BridgestoneArena.com.